The foot plays a significant role in all of our movement patterns, especially squatting, balancing, most of the things we do throughout the day because it provides a lot of good information to all the joints of the rest of the body because it's grounded on the floor or the ground. What we mean by that, getting Sam just to do a squat here. So spread your feet out, Sam, a little bit more, put those arms overhead, squat down. You notice Sam's knees cave in, his feet actually collapse down. So he's got a little bit of a foot thing here. So now put those feet together. I can confirm that by just looking at his balance. So he looks at his balance. That foot is collapsing out again. He's losing his balance a little bit. Let's try the other side. So that side looks a little bit better, but his foot's not providing a lot of good feedback. So here's one easy solution that can tackle both, is I'm gonna get Sam here, and we're gonna do somewhat of a counterintuitive squat. And Sam, go ahead and get up on this thing. and Have your heels off. Spread those feet out a little bit. Spread them out, spread them out. More of your ball of your foot on the, on the half roll. Now go ahead and go up and down. Let's do that a few times till you get comfortable keeping those heels off the ground. This is working his foot, the intrinsic muscle of the foot, because really what we want to do is grab the ground with your foot. Just like anytime you grab the ground with your foot, you actually create more proprioceptive input, more positive feedback up the kinetic chain, which activates all those muscles. Okay? When that knee caves in, everybody says, well, the glutes are not activated. Why well, would make a good argument? It's because the foot's not doing what it needs to do. So Sam, keep doing that. Now, as Sam gets comfortable with keeping those heels off the ground, I'm gonna say, put your hands out front and go ahead and squat down. And you see, Sam struggles quite a bit because really, if you do this, what we call a deep knee bend, letting those heels come up, which most people don't want the heels to come up, but I'm doing this for a specific purpose with Sam. So I'm gonna give Sam some assistance. So take that stick and let that stick help you out and then come back up. And I'm gonna have Sam do, again, he's gonna struggle with it, but my instructions to him are breathe, relax, control your breath, go up and down. And what Sam's gonna to start to feel here in a couple of reps is those feet start burning. Now, the one thing I would do here is I would remove his shoes and socks and have him do this barefoot to really help engage those foot intrinsic muscles, which is only gonna help all of his other movement patterns.